four, three, two, one, zero. All engine running. Liftoff. We have a liftoff. The technology that we're kind of showcasing within our museum, we're really trying to bring it home to Oklahoma because there really is just this gold mine of aviation and technological history in Oklahoma. Hi, I'm Jared Cassie. I'm the Education Director here at Tulsa Air and Space Museum and Planetarium. We're conveniently located right between Tulsa Zoo and Tulsa International Airport. The newest thing we have that is growing in popularity is our MD-80 flight theater experience. It's a really cool, unique adventure where you can actually sit inside this airplane and go for a flight with this new technology that we developed especially for this and actually go for a flight and see surrounding Oklahoma from this airplane, but at the same time learn about some of the science behind the aviation industry. Most kids are going to be interested in coming out here and sitting inside an airplane. Uh, they all get very excited about that. Uh, anytime we have any kind of simulator experience where they can actually put their hands on the controls and take the yoke of an airplane, unless we have a flight lab up by our lobby, uh, that's something that they're always talking about. We have numerous interactive activities they can do right in our exhibit hall. A lot of hands-on stuff from either flying a simulator to operating our robotic arm, similar to what you would have experienced on a space shuttle or the International Space Station. Things you're typically going to find in this museum uh, you don't find every day, for instance the Spartan 12. Um, of course our F-14 Tomcat is uh, definitely a big draw for people to come see. They can get up close to a Tomcat. I and mean, there's still a few around on display, but it's certainly not an aircraft you're going to see every day. It's really cool to come in and see a lot of these we can tie to our local history and just to see examples regardless of their, if they're flying or static display. It's just cool for people to point to and say, hey, look at that incredible piece of history. Oklahoma has always been kind of one of the, the path makers, so to speak, in, in leading the way in aviation history. You know, you've had Wiley Post who did remarkable things in discovering the jet stream inside his Winnie Mae. Will Rogers, you know, who's friends with Wiley Post, has always been a huge advocate of Oklahoma aviation and aviation in general as a means of transportation. So I think as far as uh, the golden age of aviation, Oklahoma ranks pretty high up there within our nation of where a lot of it started. Come out and visit Tulsa Air and Space Museum and Planetarium and I guarantee you will find something to inspire you and put a smile on your face and say, hey, you know what, I can do that. <laughs>